Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to be talking about how I permanently installed these two guys inside of my RV. Now, I absolutely love the Energy Apex and the Energy Kodiak. They're very powerful pieces of equipment with 90 amp hour batteries in each one. Each one has 1100 watts of power um, with 1500 watt uh, pure sine wave inverters inside. Now, I use these all the time when I'm camping to run electronics and my laptops and my camera gear and all that stuff, but what I've really been enjoying them uh, for lately has been charging the RV when my power gets low. So maybe I didn't run my generator long enough or uh, I used too much battery power, it's getting late at night, everybody's already asleep, I don't want to start the generator again. Um, I can actually plug into these guys and dump 90 amp hours of power into my RV. It'll run all of my electronics and put some energy into my batteries, which is fantastic. And it'll do all this completely silently, which is great. The problem is, in order to do that, in, in order to plug into this 30 amp plug right here, I have to put it on the outside of the RV. Now obviously I'm not going to sleep very well knowing that it's out there um, exposed to the elements and possible theft, um, just completely unprotected out there. Um, that's no good. So what I wanted to do is permanently install these in the closet of my RV. And today is going to be showing you how I did that. I'm also going to be doing a video that shows you how I put it in in the install process right after this video. Um, that video will be available for you or in the link in the description below. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to permanently install these in the RV with a switch. And on that switch, I can turn it from power off to generator or shore power to the Apex or to the Kodiak. It's very, very cool. It's working great and I can't wait to show it to you. So why don't I jump inside and run you through the entire process. So as you can see, we have the four-way switch right here. And when we move that to all power off, you're gonna see that the power drops to zero on our Xantrax display up there and all power is turned off even if we turn on the Apex and the Kodiak inverters you'll see that we still have zero power coming through on the Xantrax display okay so no power nothing's happening all power is off when I turn the switch to power one now we're on shore power or generator power um, and you can see that the voltage comes back up so we have full power there now, and all these are still disconnected. Now, when I move this to position two, which is our apex power, you'll see on the Xantrax display, we're still at zero because the Xantrax is turned off. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Now you can see that's gonna go ahead and climb up. Um, also, it turned on the Kodiak charging. That's just kind of how I have them charging. It's actually plugged into the AC charger right here and then we have our solar power right here that's disconnected but I plug that in it's hooked up to the 200 uh, uh, watt energy solar panels up on the roof and it'll charge both systems that way but you can see that the power has jumped up on the display now that we have the apex turned on and if I turn that well I don't even have to turn that off if I move our switch down to the third position that's gonna kill the power from the Apex, so it no longer matters, it's disconnected. Now we are connected to the Kodiak. And once I turn it on, you can see that we now have voltage on our Xantrax display. And if you give that a minute, you'll see that our watts start going up as it starts powering everything uh, in the RV here. There you go. And another way I can kind of show you this is if you look at the Apex display. It's at 83 watts, but only because it's actually feeding power into the Kodiak. So if I disconnect the Kodiak charger, you can see it's completely idle. And uh, now what I'm going to do is switch the position switch back to the Apex and we will watch the Kodiak fall. 700 and, or 469 watts back down to its idle. And now we will watch the Apex start powering up the RV now that we're in position two. And there she goes. 
And once I switch our position back to shore power, the Apex and the Kodiak are disconnected and we're running off shore power. So that works absolutely perfectly. Um, and now I have an extra 180 amp hours of battery power that I can use to run the RV without worrying about them running off or anything else. And I will talk a little bit about the way these are charged, and that is they run off of solar from 200 watt panels from Energy, the flexible Lynx panels, up on the roof. And it's dark right now, so I can kind of show you all this um, just using light sources. But we get 200 watts in to the apex in the back, and that charges its battery. And if I turn on the inverter of it, I'll show you this right now. I'll turn off the Kodiak inverter. I will turn off the apex inverter. You can see that everything is off and we would be getting 200 watts just into the apex. Or during the day, I could turn that on and you see it's charging the Kodiak with the AC plug. And since the AC plug really only uses about 80 watts and we're, we'd be pulling in 200 watts in full sun, it's not it's just going to charge both of the units up basically because the apex is going to be getting more energy than it's putting out and so they will both simultaneously charge and then when I need them at night I just flip the switch and it activates the RV. Well there you go I've had this installed for about a month now with no problems it's working great I absolutely love it um, when we pull in and I'm running low on power I can just flip a switch and dump 90 amp hours of power into my RV flip it again and dump another 90 amp hours in which is fantastic. Now running the RV while charging the batteries takes around 600 watts continuous for these guys so it works really really well. I have a Xantrax battery charger which is very customizable. You can even customize the amount of amps that it will use from shore power from 5, you know, 5 amp service, 10 amp service, 30 amp service or 50 amp service, whatever you want. So I put it down at 5 and that puts about 24 amps of charging on my batteries which is a nice slow burn. Uh, for everything it runs everything in the rv and charges my batteries a little bit with that 24 amps of charging and it works incredibly well so i've absolutely been loving that now that you guys have seen the install or basically seen it in action the install video will be right after this so you can see exactly how i did all this so i hope that helps you out if it did please like share subscribe don't forget to use my amazon link in the button in the description below for all your shopping that helps me out or um, even uh, Patreon if you want to donate to the channel so I can keep making these videos for you. My name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club, and thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.